Okay guys, I'm just going to quickly show you how to sign up to WordPress on the on your computer uh, and then I'll show you how to do it on your on your iPad as well. The computer one's probably a little bit easier because it's just a bit quicker and it's you know easier to use your keyboard and stuff on here but if your iPad's your only option then that's fine. So uh, all you need to do is go to wordpress.com uh, and you'll get to this kind of landing page here. Uh, that's if you've already got your details but all you want to do is get started. Okay. And this is where you add in all your details. So your email address uh, is going to be what you used to sign up and your password as well. So I would use your Bremer, um, bremer.vig.edu.au. I would use your Bremer um, email address and password as well, actually. So it's easier for you to remember. Your username is just what you're going to use to sign in. Um, again, you can use whatever you want there. I'm just going to use the default because I'm actually not going to use this account because I've already got one so I'll delete it when I'm done um, and then your password as well so for the sake of this I'm going to call it D-O-N-I-E uh, one two three four five um, it's not one of the most common and it's telling you tell you how your password is done 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 and then you're done okay so this here is the important part so this is the name of your site the name of your web page and this is what you're going to type in to actually go to your site um, so what you write here is kind of important because if you start using this blog a lot and people start checking it out a lot, it could get uber popular. Uh, that's the, the address they're going to type in. So think of something that you can use for a while, not just something that you're into right now, like, I don't know, Doctor Who lover 2013, um, because that, look, that might change. You know, you might be over Doctor Who next year and you're kind of stuck with that. You can change the name, obviously, in the future, but again, this is what people are going to go to, so they'll get used to it. So you want to keep that. Uh, something that's unique that you can use for a while. So I would suggest your name. Um, you know, if I go, oh, wait. and that way it's going to be current, but I know that's already taken. Okay, and it'll tell you if it's taken as well. So you can choose whatever you want here. Um, again, stick to something that you're going to keep. So from now, I'm just going to call it uh, Daniel Garcia Bremer. Okay, um, that should be free. There we go. Uh, I'm going to delete this anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and all this is saying here is if you want, you can get rid of the .wordpress and have just the, you know, the .com, but you don't need that, so don't worry about it. So no thanks. Um, and that's it. You're ready to go. So again, don't choose this one. You don't need to pay for anything now. Um, we'll do free. And then you do create. Just make sure you remember these things here, mainly these two. Okay. Um, and then create your blog. And that'll take a second to come through. Cool, done. So now you need to actually check your email and that'll activate your account. Once you do that, you're ready to go. So I'm going to go do that section and I will be back in a second. Okay, so then in your email, you will get your email with the username that you've done and then you have to click activate. Okay, so once you get that email um, and you activate your blog, um, you will get this page here. So it's now active and the address is ready to go. Uh, and so now you can log in and away you go. So off we, what we're going to do now is actually set up this blog. So if we then click on that address, you can see that it's taking you to the your blog. Um, so yep, yeah, look, I've quickly done a quick little setup here, but it's basically blank. All right. I've still got my tagline, lovely. Uh, but it's pretty much blank. So what you need to do now is actually start setting it up. So here is your dashboard. Okay. And this is where you can put things like widgets, which are those really cool sidebar things. And you can add a whole bunch of effects, but we're not going to worry about those right now because I just want you to get this set up, ready to go. So you can actually start using it. So by default, it's going to give you a, a, a basic template, okay, um, and you can start using that. So you can essentially just start doing a new post. So if I click new post, it'll set up here, uh, and then you can type in your post. So this is a new post, and here are the details. So, and then you start typing everything you want. It's as simple as that. Um, you can obviously add other things, if you want to add pictures, you know, add media, um, and you can upload images. So if you want to select files from somewhere on your computer, you can select videos and photos. So I've got images here from some stuff I was doing yesterday. Um, if you choose those, it'll upload it and put it in there, and it'll put it into your into your post. I'm going to see if I've got something really small. Um, 
All right, we'll do this one, media equipment. All right, so I'm gonna choose that uh, and you'll see it uploading. And then there it is there and that'll save in your blog so you can use it anytime and then insert that into your post and then it'll plonk up there. Uh, you can then change the size of it. You can move it around in a sec. You can change the size of this. You can move it around. You can give it a title, all that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, and off you go. Keep typing in there. Um, just put some other junk, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can also do links. So if you want to do links to web pages, um, you can do that as well. So we just have to make sure you can see a little bit more here. So if you click that one, you can see a lot more. So if you want to do a link to a web page, you know, here is a web page um, and you select that text. You can see then now you can put a link in here and you can copy and paste links in there. You can put YouTube videos in by embedding them into the, the post as well. So if you have a YouTube channel or if you have videos from YouTube, you can just copy and paste those links and you can put them in there. So I'm going to show you how you do that when we actually come to doing your stop motion because we're going to actually put those in here. So to begin with, we can probably put maybe in your images from your t-shirts, okay? And we'll put them in there, but I'll run you through more of that in class. It's just the setup. Uh, and that's it. So let me just clear some of this junk up here and we'll just have this as my post. Um, tags, so tagging is, if it's something in particular that you wanna be able to search for later. So if I tag this as media um, and I add that, whenever I search in my blog for the, with the word media, it's gonna come up with this post. So if you did a post about you know, your English work and you had a video, then you might type in English and add that and video and add that. And so everything's tagged. So, you know, if you've got this post for 10 years and you want to see everything you did in English, you type in English and all those posts will come up. Or if you want to see everything that had a video, you type in video and all those posts come up. So it's really, really handy. Um, so you do that as well. And categories, again, you don't have any categories, so you can add a new one. So this is where you might have a category for media or a category for sports or, or whatever it is. And then you can actually post those in those categories so certain people know where they are. But that's it. And once you've done that, I'm not going to put a category in yet. Um, you click publish. It's as simple as that. Uh, and then it's done. And what you'll see in a second, it'll go back to your main web page um, and your, your post will be there. Okay, so once it's posted, you'll see that you've published one post, yay. Um, you can do other things in the side here. So if you want to share your post to Twitter or Facebook, you can do that. You can also set it up so whenever you do a new post, it'll automatically come on your Twitter feed or your Facebook feed. So, you know, if you do a new post, um, that's super important. Whenever you post it, you'll have a notification in your Facebook page. So everyone on your Facebook uh, or your Facebook friends can then go in and it'll link directly to the post itself. So you can add obviously a lot more details here than you can with Facebook. Uh, and that's it. So then if we want to just go back and see what our blog looks like, we just hit the title bar there. And there is our blog. So off we go. Here's our post. You can see it's got the date and away you go. If we do another post, obviously it's going to then push this down because that's how blogs work. So let's just do another real quick post. Um, we'll do it this way. I think this is the best way just so I can show you that structure. And then I'm going to show you how to customize it. So at the moment, um, at the moment, sorry, it is just on a default setting. So we can change that so you can kind of tailor this so it looks just like yours. Uh, again, now you publish two posts uh, and the same deal, you'll come up with these Twitter feeds here. So again, turn on publicize if you want it to automatically go to Facebook or Twitter. Now let's go back to the page and you'll see now we've got two posts. So you can see this is how it it organizes it. So just post after post after post, okay? And again, this is where those tags and those categories come uh, are important because then you can narrow this stuff down. So by default, you'll just get it. The front page will just be continuous stream of posts, which is good. You know, you can see what's going on. People can leave a reply, they can comment, they can do all that kind of stuff. So last thing I'm gonna show you is just how to change this theme. So this is something you can get, uh, you can do now in your own time because uh, if you're anything like me, you'll be very pedantic and you'll stay there forever trying to find something you like. You then, of course, can make it, you can do it yourself. You can create your own site and edit it and do it personally, but that's if you've got plenty more time and you're really interested in this stuff. So a quick way is you just go to your themes here, okay? And by default, it'll show you, this is the theme that we're using, okay? But we want to change this theme and pick something else. So we want to have a look at all the themes. So if you go up to themes here, it'll then show you 
all the themes. Now there are stacks of them, so 211 at the moment. And just scroll through these and see what you like. See if there's a style here that you like. Um, don't use a premium one because the, you had to pay for those and they're not worth it anyway. You can make these yourself. So scroll through. If you find a theme that you go, hey, you know, that looks really cool. Um, some are for, you know, designed for around photography. Some are designed around just clear text but there are stacks of them. Okay, so let's try this one here. So you can do a live demo, and if you click live demo, what it'll do is it'll show you what that theme will look like. Okay, oh yeah, that looks cool. And if you like the look of that, then you can basically use this theme. And what it'll do is it's gonna switch into here, and then click activate. And now it's gonna automatically activate that theme on my blog. So if I go back to my blog now, you see it looks a bit different. So now it's using that theme. Uh, and this theme obviously has a category on the side there. It's got a calendar. These are things you can change later as well, you know, but here are my posts. So it definitely looks a little bit different. Um, or if we go back in here into your customizer, sorry, into your dashboard, your dashboard is where you have a lot more control. So again, I'm not don't go through all of this, okay? We don't need to do any of this just yet to set up your blog. Guys, if you want to, if you want to play around with this, if you really want to kind of personalize your blog, then please do so. Um, or look, see me and I'll run you through what all these things mean individually. But for now, um, just pick your theme. Again, we'll go back into themes here. Have a look at what we've got. You know, Newsworthy is another one. So live preview, look at it. Or if you just want it straight away, just hit activate. And then when we go back to our blog, there it is there. And that's it set up. So that's it. So once you're happy with your blog, you've got it set up, you've got your theme that you like, um, you can now play away, you can keep on going, you can go nuts. But um, at the very minimum, what we need before our next class is this, is your blog set up and your theme chosen and look, put a couple of posts in there so you can have a play. And then in class, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this site. So this needs to be done by our next class. So thank you for that. Uh, I'll quickly show you now how to do it on the iPad.